What happens to a city that ignores the sound of the watchmen? What happens to that city or a nation? America clearly has not heeded that. And 20 years later, we can say that America has not only not returned to God, it has apostatized much deeper and farther since. And the warnings have gone unheeded. And that brings us to where we are now. This weekend, I'm led to speak about the watchmen and about the call of the watchmen, and that means you. God says in Isaiah 62, I've set watchmen on your walls, Jerusalem. They will never hold their peace. Don't, don't be quiet. Don't be silent, watchmen. The word for watchmen in the Bible, in the Hebrew, there's two major words. One is the word tsofeh. Try it. Tsofeh means one who beholds, one who looks up, one who looks carefully, one who waits, and one who keeps. The most famous word for the watchmen is the word shomer. Try it. Means one who guards, one who takes heed, one who keeps. Comes from a root word, shamar, which means to hedge, hedge, to guard, to protect, to mark, to look narrowly, to observe, to preserve, to wait for, to keep, to save. So the watchman could also be called the protector, the hedger, the marker, the observer, the guard, the preserver, the waiter, the watcher, the keeper, the one who saves. It says, I have appointed watchmen. The watchman had to be appointed by man, but here God is saying, I'm appointing watchmen as well. They had a critical calling on which the entire fate of their culture, their civilization, depended. The watchmen had gigantic responsibility. Today we have defense systems all over the world. Then you had a watchman, or, or, or a few watchmen, responsible for the entire city or the kingdom for the safety. So they had to take their position seriously. They didn't have satellites. They had their eyes. They had to have a good eyesight. The watchman had to be focused, couldn't get distracted, couldn't get entangled on what, couldn't be, couldn't be distracted by what was going on in the city and the marketplace below him, couldn't hang out in the city to be a watchman, couldn't be involved with what everybody else was, it wouldn't be doing his job. Had to stay separate. He had to take his post on the walls, on the watchtower, on the gate, if he didn't take his position, could not do it. It says in Habakkuk, the prophet says, I will stand my watch. I will station myself on the rampart of the walls, and I will watch to see what he will say to me. Here the prophet is speaking as the watchman. That one, of the, one of the symbols of the prophet is the watchman, because they had to warn their people. But the watchman had to be on the ramparts, had to be above the city in order to see what was coming over the horizon or in the distance. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.